Okay, going back up here to the three that we needed to memorize, we needed to have the 45 degrees, which we've done here, the 60 degrees, which we've done here, and the last one we need to look at is 30 degrees. So if I go back to this equilateral triangle and we had 60 degrees in each of the corners, but we've chopped it in half to give this triangle, so we can just copy this triangle again and use this angle up here which will now be 30 degrees because it's half of 60. So I've copied that one here. I'll quickly label it for you. Root 3, 2 and 1. This time this is the th 30 degrees. This side, hypotenuse, opposite and adjacent. So we can find sine of 30. You might like to pause and do this yourself. Continuing on, sine of 30, opposite over hypotenuse, which is 1 over 2. Cos of 30, adjacent over hypotenuse, which is root 3 over 2 tan of 30 opposite over adjacent which is 1 over root 2 and all of these would need to have a little degree sign on them to show that we're using degrees because next year we're going to learn about um, a different way of representing angles. Now all the angles we've found so far can be summarized in this table and this is what you'll need to memorize. So you either need to memorize the values in this table. Some people just like to look at the table and memorize it. Um, some people like to remember those two triangles that I showed you and they can find any of these values. Um, and there's one other method I can tell you where you count um, along your fingers. I'll show that to you if you're interested. Um, that might be useful to you as well to help remember but you will be expected to know and find all of these values uh, without using a calculator so in a tech free test um, and it's something that's used in trigonometry uh, in all the VCE methods and specialist courses it's assumed that you have memorized these values as well as if you do any mathematics um, at university level so it's worthwhile um, learning it Thanks for listening to video today.